Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is off or your weekend is off to a great start. Thanks for joining me. Well, today we're going to create a project for Newton's Nook Designs and we are using the beautiful Heartfelt Butterflies stamp set. This is part of their brand new April release and I love these because of the images that are in there. They're beautiful colored in, but today I thought we would create a project using um, the stamp set with some ink blending. So I'm taking some Bristol Smooth cardstock. We're going to add that to our Misty. I'll take out the large heart image in here and it's so pretty. Um, and it's it will fit an A2 size card beautifully, um, vertical or horizontal. We're going to put that on our cardstock and pick it up with our Misty lid. Go over our cardstock with our anti-static powder bag and then we'll stamp our beautiful heart. It's filled with lots of butterflies. Um, we're gonna ink it up with Versamark ink. We'll stamp this a few times. And we'll just, I started to just press down with my hands and realized I have a beautiful little gadget on my desk. Um, go ahead and ink it up one more time and we will um, add a little pressure and our image is just fine you can't well I'm not sure if it is or not we'll know once we heat emboss but <laughs> that's the thing about white embossing powder on white cardstock but we're gonna go ahead and go over it with white em embossing powder um, I love the softness of white on white so once this is covered I'll use my heat gun and melt the embossing powder and then we are good to go I'm just gonna use two distress oxide inks it's probably my favorite color combination I have worn lipstick and squeezed lemonade um, to ink blend I'll bring in my little craft mat and then we will um, start off with our squeeze lemonade on the very bottom. I sped this up a bit but it's basically using your one color on the bottom of the heart going halfway up of, up the heart and then adding pink to the top and then blending both of them together in the middle to create that corally orange color. Um, very very easy to do especially if you do it on Bristol Smooth cardstock. I, I was going to mask off the edges because this stamp set is meant to coordinate with the heart frames die set and there's a beautiful scalloped heart in that set um, and if you die cut it out it'll leave a little bit of a white border but I thought you know let's just go all the way to the edge and keep it easy and simple. Now while we're ink blending I'm going to create a background using the Newton's Nook Designs uh, butterfly stencil set. It's a two-piece stencil set and we're going to start off with the the most open area butterflies um, piece here. Add it to our cardstock and again this is Bristol Smooth too and I'm going to go over it with worn lipstick. Um, I already have pixie spray behind my stencil. Sometimes pixie spray can um, keep if you store your stencils in a plastic pocket. And so this, I had last time I used it, it was quite a while ago, um, and the pixie spray is still sticking, which is really nice. So that's our first stencil. Now I'm going to just go ahead and layer my second stencil right on top. It makes it easier for placement, just going corner to corner. And um, this will add some detail. You can do this either way. You could put a base layer of the squeezed lemonade and create yellow butterflies with pink detail, but I opted for a pink butterfly with yellow detail. And that's the best thing about Distress Oxide inks is you can layer them. The yellow detail is very soft, but I love the way this looks. I just love the, the fullness of it. So there's my butterfly background. I'm going to go ahead and take my heart frames die set and we'll take the scallop edge and I'll die cut out my um, heart from the Heartfelt Butterfly stamp set. And then once we have this die cut, um, I think we need a little more white in the background. Um, there, To me it was just all pink and yellow. So I thought to break it up a bit, we'll take the largest heart in the die set and die cut this out with white cardstock. This way we can mat our um, our heart on the white and this kind of breaks it up a bit and I like this a lot better. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our stencil and as it, the colors are very toned down, very kind of chalky looking I should say. So I thought I would take the chalkiness away 
and add some sparkle. <laughs> We're gonna sparkle it up. So I'm replacing um, stencil number one of the butterfly stencil set, and I'm gonna grab my Nouveau Glimmer Paste. This is Moonstone. It's like an iridescent glitter. Um, and I'm gonna go over my butterflies with this. And it does tone down the yellow in here, but boy, does it add a lot of sparkle, and I love the way, and dimension also. I'm just using my craft tool going over each one of these butterflies. The nice thing about the Nouveau um, Moonstone Glimmer Place is that it dries pretty quick. I think by the time we finish our sentiment, this should be pretty much dry. Okay, we're just gonna remove our stencil and reveal our beautiful glittery butterflies. And I just love that sparkle you can see here. And it does add dimension too, which is really nice. So we'll set this aside. We'll just scrape up the excess so it's easier to clean here. And then um, we're gonna grab our sentiment. Now in the stamp set, there's lots of fun sentiments. I chose a happy hello. There are butterfly kisses, dream big, flights of things, time to soar, spread your wings. And also the sentiments, um, at least one part of the sentiment have the hollowed out um, word, that way you can color it in, which is super nice. So I'm gonna kind of coordinate my um, hello with the same colors that I used for my butterflies. So I have a, a pink marker, this is actually RV23, and then we're gonna take a yellow marker and do two tones. So the bottom half will be pink, top half will be yellow, and this yellow is just a little too light. So I'm gonna go back and grab my Y18. So we have RV23 and then Y18 to color in the hello. So you can coordinate your sentiments with the colors in your project, which is really nice. <laughs> and that's with all of the sentiments too. There's also a few more sentiments that say, um, you lift me up and spread your wings, which is really nice. So I trimmed it down. You can use the banner trio die if you wanted to, but I just wanted a, a straight edge. I didn't want stitch detail. So after I had trimmed this down, I'm gonna angle the right side just using my scissors, and we're gonna turn this into a tag. So I'll punch a hole with my crocodile, add a pink eyelet, and we'll secure that to our sentiment. And then um, I'll take some white twine and thread it through. I'm not gonna twi I tie a bow with twine just yet. Um, we'll do that after it's secured to our card base. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and continue. Um, it's our butterfly background is still a little damp, but it's still workable. So I added adhesive behind it and added it to my A2 size card front. Um, next, I did pop up this heart um, with foam adhesive and then secured my scalloped edge to the white outline heart. We're gonna place this in the center and it fits beautifully. I would kept lifting it up because I want a butterfly to go on top of this heart. And I think if you were to fussy cut out one of the butterflies in your background, one of the butterflies that's under that heart, it would be just as pretty. But I didn't want to destroy my panel. I, th I thought about it just a little too late. So I'm bringing in another stamp set from Newton Snook Designs. This is the Monarch stamp set. It has a beautiful butterfly in here. I took the largest one. We're gonna stamp that with um, my Memento ink. And just using the colors that I use for my tag, I'll color it in. So I'm using Y18 and then RV23 to add a little pink detail at the very top of the wings. Just quickly, we'll do this. Um, I just wanted to make sure that my ink wasn't gonna um, bleed out. <laughs> so that's why I was doing a little fan motion. It's actually kind of pretty toasty in my, my craft room, but <laughs> it kind of did dual purpose. Okay, there's my butterfly, I'll die cut out. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and add some foam adhesive just down the spine of my butterfly. And then we'll take some larger foam squares and put it behind the sentiment so we can add it to the front of our card. This is a nice cheery card and I love the way it's turning out. We'll add three foam squares here. I'll just remove the release paper. And I wasn't sure, with hearts, I wasn't sure where to place it. So um, you can go horizontal, vertical, and I thought, you know, let's let's go at a diagonal for this heart. So we're gonna go top left and then have that tag kind of hanging down from our heart here. I'll go ahead and tie the bow. And again, I just used some white twine 
after I have the bow the size that I wanted, I did trim the tails, and then we added our little monarch bo uh, butterfly here to our card. Now, last but not least, I want to add a little sparkle to the top of our card, and I'm just adding a little dot of some diamond stickles over the smaller butterflies in our heartfelt butterfly stamp set, and I did go over the wings of our butterfly too, um, of the monarch just to sparkle that up. But that's my project today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a lovely day. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.